Hi everyone, I'm Roseanne with Real Life Tuesday and I wanted to really speak today about a particular false teaching in my opinion that has spread to so many good people that I know and I felt that it's time to give a new perspective to it all. It's about emotions and it's about all emotions and in particular it's about how we feel them and how we express them and what some groups I've seen are teaching others about which emotions are good and which emotions are bad. And one teaching in particular that I have heard and have actually been preached to me directly um, is that we need to only feel love. <laughs> Love's the only feeling that we should strive to feel at all times. And when you feel things like anger, sadness, jealousy, and fear, these are considered to be negative emotions or bad emo emotions, and you should avoid them at all costs. And, you know, certainly, you know, using your anger to give you the courage to speak out against such atrocities, such as human trafficking or, you know, government tyranny and loss of human rights is definitely not the way of those who are spiritual, or at least that's what I've been told. However, what if we considered that all emotions are a natural human way of being? For example, let's take a look at anger. Many people think it's a negative thing to feel angry. However, it's really not a bad thing. Anger is normal and it's a healthy emotion. In fact, a lot of really good things can come about when you are angry and angry feelings can lead to these good changes. Many social injustices, for example, have you know brought about um, or had change occur due to people being angry about those social injustices. So this is what I particularly call righteous anger, you know? It's important not to confuse this anger with um, aggression or violence or just um, hatred, for example. But it's important to note that also, uh, you know, projecting your anger onto others or onto everyone um, is not a healthy thing either. So let's see, how can we use this anger uh, in a positive way? The way I would suggest doing it is, you know, when you start to sense that anger coming up, use it as a tool for introspection. You know, what is it that's triggering you to feel that emotion? Now, it could be something that you need to change in your own life, um, or perhaps it is, for example, a social injustice that you are being triggered by and you need to help enact change within the, the larger scale of things. Um, and this, this anger then can potentially motivate you to, you know, instigate that positive change, whether it's within your own life or whether it is a more larger scale social injustice, for example. And now let's look at also fear. Now I do talk a lot about fear and I do often say, this is not something that you want to live in. Now, living in fear is is something that you are obviously if you're living in it you are doing it all the time and that isn't a healthy thing to do however fear as a as an emotion itself is actually an instinct and it, that instinct has kept us alive for for eons right like that's that's what we we use as um you know that trigger to uh, you know alert us that there's danger you know, run away, <laughs> the fight or flight, etc. So fear in that sense isn't a bad thing. So in general, um, or even, um, you know, having a fear of, uh, I'm trying to think of a, a more useful one in, in our modern day society, you know, we don't have too many wild animals uh, chasing us down, but, um, you know, comprehending the dangers that are in anything from even pollution to you know toxic chemicals all that kind of stuff that is a, in a sense um you know that fear instinct of knowing that those are dangerous 
will help to, um, you know, instigate change in your life. Well, not allowing that kind of toxic chemicals in your home, for example, but you don't live in fear of it all the time. It's a different, different kind of thing. Anyway, um, what can we do with all of these different emotions that sometimes are being labeled as negative or bad? Um, how about we flip it and understand that all emotions are good, or at least they are a part of who we are. And they can help us to comprehend, uh, you know, what we really want, what, what are our desires in life, or what are the things that we don't want. So this is a, this is a good thing to know. And what you can do is then sit with your emotions and learn from them. What are they really trying to tell you? You know, what's the message behind that emotion? And once you allow that to really, you know, voice itself or show itself, you know, you can then actually release the emotion, whatever it is, fear, worry, um, you know, stress, uh, the, the anger, etc., and bring yourself back to an inner state of calm or neutral zone from where you will have that clarity of mind to then be able to act um and and do things to to change the situation if needed or maybe it's just you know a learning lesson oh i now understand why i feel about this that way so the main reason i'm mentioning this now is because i do feel strongly and this is my own personal opinion that it is time to allow your righteous anger to flow there are so many injustices occurring around us all every day and many people are remaining quiet for various reasons i'm sure maybe it's um, fear of being judged by others um you know if you're speaking out against what they believe uh you know who knows why you're you're maybe not feeling the courage to do it or maybe you do truly feel that no you just need to spread love and light and um, you won't allow yourself to see and feel that, that righteous anger. If you're feeling this way, I encourage you to allow your quiet anger to fuel your desire to live in a world where we can focus on love and joy, where we can be free of this evil and corruption. And one way to do it is speaking up. You know, give support to those who are speaking out show others that they have a right to live as free and sovereign human beings on our beautiful Gaia. That's it for this week. I hope uh, this inspires you in some way, you know, start delving deep into your emotions and learn from them and don't judge your emotions as bad or good or anything if you don't need to label them at all, you know, just to under, you know, comprehend that they are a part of who you are and they can be wonderful teachers. And um, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week.